Namaste, Mauji. Namaste, Mauji. Today, I raise hand against my resistance energy ah. of mine. Yes. First of all, I want to thank you. I am listening to you from last two, three years. Yeah. What I want to say is, one day I was listening to your directions, your pointings, are entitled, the DNA of every form is shapeless. And uh, suddenly, I became shapeless. Yes. And how beautiful that moment was. You are more nearer to me in universe, in world. It seems ki you are so far, but you are so close to me. Your grace was so close to me that I felt that in YouTube. After that, I most important thing happened in my life with your preachings that from last 10 years, I was in search of perceiver. Ki who was the perceiver? And that question dies with your pointings. He don't look for perceiver. And that, that thing, that belief of your pointings encourages me and I started looking everything, everything, what comes, see, what comes, see, what comes, see. But Guruji, that was endless and becomes now so painful. Last day that Uncle Ji stand up, I also want to stand up now. Now that's the moment, not now, then never. I am leaving today and, but, I, I was feeling incomplete. It's not ultimate seeing. Seeing is not completing itself. And uh, completing would be like what? Maybe, uh, maybe uh, I am looking for seer still. Yes. Uh, you're looking, uh, okay, hear this now. You're looking for the seer, the ultimate seer. But like I said earlier, it cannot, how, in what way will you see the ultimate seer? Mind is saying, Mind is uh, guiding me to see the seer. Yes. But belief is saying that there is, uh, there is no seer. Yes. Yes. You cannot see the seer because you are it seeing. You cannot see the seer because it is the one seeing even the seeing. It is behind. Uh, when uh, St. Francis say, what you are searching for, if it's truth, what you are searching for is already the place where you're searching from. Uh, people feel many, ah, oh, it's really, that sounds clever, but they've not done it. That even the place where the search begins, along with the one who is searching, is already arising in front of something already here that perceive it. That is the self. Can that be seen? That which sees even seeing, can it be seen? No. No, it cannot be seen. Try and see, try and see. Can it be seen when the very idea of what is having the trouble is the conviction of the seeker that it is located somewhere and it has to solve the mystery. Who is the seer? Yes. The ultimate seer. If the ultimate seer is seen, then the one who sees the ultimate seer must be more ultimate than the ultimate seer. Yes. 
an unending riddle. How did you begin to perceive when the very act of perceiving is known or perceived? It is you. If you give it to the mind, the mind will create some kind of strangeness. Yeah, but you must keep trying to find the seer. You being who to find the seer? Are you relative or absolute? The one who will set out to find the ultimate seer? Is it a, a local see seeker or an absolute seeker? What could the absolute be seeking? So a relative idea of me is trying to find this, the ultimate If you find the ultimate seer, then you will be absorbed in the ultimate seer. How could you stand outside the ultimate seer to say, I can see the ultimate? Then you would be where placed. If ultimate, if ultimate means the infinite, where would you stand apart from the infinite to see the infinite? You presently uh, are only a speck, an idea believed in, arising in ultimate seeing, which doesn't pay you too much attention. You said that when you heard that the 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 the, 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 the video or the, the talk that was called the DNA of everything is of every form of is every form, is. yeah, is emptiness or the formless, and that uh, that was so shocking and amazing somehow that uh, whatever you saw became zero, became emptiness. The root of it is emptiness, including you yourself. I did. I didn't saw anything. I, I realized I is not there, totally vanish. Yes. And I realized that shapelessness. And after that, for nearly 15 days, I am feeling that everything which is visible is not me. And yes. I am the infinite. Yes. What took that away? Or how did it leave? What happened? Fifty, after 15 days. On the 16th day, what happened? Mind distracts. Mind said? Mind distract, distracted me from that experience, I think. So you were different from the experience. You say you were nothing, you were that itself. How can mind distract that which is itself formless? You must have become a form for the mind to distract you. Which is only an idea. That happened a spontaneous experience. Uh -huh. I didn't do anything in that. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, this is good because it shows you don't have to be vigilant to make sure that the mind doesn't come in and I don't see him. Because then you'll be tired. I said, My God, I've got to sleep, and the mind is not sleepy. What are you going to do? No, it is greater than that. That even if in a billionth of a second, the mind came. There is no one to be ready for the mind. You are already here. The mind stuff come. It can only have succeeded in uh, recreating a sense of a self that could become separate. And that was believed in somehow. You see, all these things, they are useful for the earnest seeker to say, wow, that can happen also. Oh, so that could happen also. That in spite of coming to some final conclusive uh, seeing, still mind came up and said uh, something. Well, you said it distracted you. It distracted you. But who were you to be distracted? It came up and it suggested something. It found a little opening where it's possible to uh, to bring you back into the state of a person or something. You know, it's what did it say to bring you back into being? How could it distract? A, it, a thought came, and what was the thought that came? Because it's good to know what that thought is. How could it distract you? I didn't find that thing. This is very important. These conversations, you know, 
they were very rare to be having conversation like this. It would be rare that there are so many people sitting in a place like this. Maybe seven or eight or ten people. In olden times, you would, if you were lucky to find a, a, a teacher or who could help you, it was customary, traditional, to spend twelve years in a monastery or in some hermit, making tea and sweeping leaves, to make sure that you had the, the necessary inwardness to really follow these guidances, because the mind would come very easy and say, but, 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 but. Now, you know, is it a good sign that so many people are coming? Is it a good sign that uh, maybe more and more people are thinking, whoa, you know, I mean, I have to find another, another way of looking at life? I don't know. But it is this very kind of subtle introspection that is diffusing all this crazy thinking. And it is the exercise that will exorcise this crazy mind. You say like that, you see, you had come to a state for fifteen days. What was your state? Fifteen days? Not continuous experience. Not continuous experience. Yeah. Not continuous. So now and again you get you you'll feel the somehow what would you feel? What would happen? When uh, when I uh, stop perceiving, when I stop perceiving the things, मतलब I uh, person identity when drops, ultimately nothing next happens for few microseconds or seconds. Did nothingness happen? Yes, when every, when I when person identity tired or dropped everything, do nothing, then nothingness creates. Yeah, yes, it's understandable in a sort of like uh, way of speaking, but it's not true. The emptiness it cannot fade. I ask you, you've been listening to invitation also. Yes. Yeah, it, the nothingness cannot fade. What fades is the one who is seeking is fading in its concentration. Yes. This is the one that come and go. Yes. You know, uh, but emptiness does not come and go. What we are using the word emptiness now, that which the word emptiness is pointing to, doesn't have a label called emptiness. That does not come. If that was not here constantly, nothing could be here. If that was not even one fleeting micro moment of its absence, nothing could exist. It is the substratum, the source from which all this is manifesting. Make no mistake about it. It cannot go. Where to go? Where can the infinite go? A second infinity? Where it can go? And so maybe you hear the word, but you have not experienced what the word is pointing to. It's no change. And yet, uh, if it is perceived through the mind, no change. The mind and the, and the entity that lives in the mind, called a person, would be afraid and unattracted to that. You must have had a taste somehow. You must have had the darshan of that to give you that, to give you that craziness, to be the one in the, in billions who wishes to search for your own source. It cannot go. People say, "Yes, I was in that state, and then it went away." Where it go? Where it go? Hiding behind what is it? No, the mind stuff and identity came back in, and something just sort of like it just creates this illusion of a separate person doing a separate thing and trying to find the self and things like this. All this playing in the self. The self is not a person who is looking to think, oh, I hope I never go back to the person. What has to happen today? We are closing up in a minute. You have to be free in two minutes. I want to free in a microsecond. If you have to be free in a microsecond, what? you don't have time to do anything at all. If you are to be free in a microsecond, 
you there's no time there's no time if you have to, if you want to do something in nine and a half seconds if you are Usain Bolt you can do something but what are you going to do in a microsecond you can do nothing in a microsecond which is my good news for you what if there's nothing you can do to be nothing you can do to be there's not even time to drop something then what is here then which requires absolutely no effort at all don't keep trying to use your mind to conjure up something like you know there's still uh, even that that is watched uh, dismiss that uh, You don't need to concentrate on anything. No, no. That. Even that is also seen. Even effort to effort to be nobody is also seen. What is here then? What are you doing? What's happening here now? Just seeing. Huh? Seeing. Seeing what? Seeing as in creating? Seeing as in noticing? In noticing. What noticing? What about noticing, noticing? Drop doing. No, 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 not here, I can tell you now. Don't get into doing anything. So what is already here? You cannot no time to make up anything. What is what is? There's no time even to become. There's no time to concentrate. You you started this trouble, okay? You say I don't I want to be in, in an instant. Okay, I, I will work with you instant. Instant what? You have no time to do anything. So instant what? Is it an instant of doing? It's here. Huh? It's here. It's here. Did it arrive here? No. No. Can it leave? No. What is it? Is it DNA? No. Is there you? No. How long will this last? Is it a vision? No. How much more to do? Nothing. Is this a disappointing discovery? No. No. Can we go to lunch? Is it that which is here and gone? No, it's here. Yes. Since when? For how long? Huh? It's here. 
How long he's been here? I don't know. What time is it there? Here it's 12.46. What time is it there? No time. No time. No time. How old are you? No age. We can have lunch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. You came for that. We can have. A, uh, you came for that. Uh, I don't want anyone who come with this urge. She said, "I put my hand up reluctantly because something was resisting to come." And I said, "Good. Still come. Still come. The one who is resist, yeah." This one you transcend. And look how we hold on. Does it matter if he holds on? I'm asking, does it matter if he holds on? Hmm? If he ties a chain around you? Hmm? Does it matter if you hold on? <laughs> 